Female Prisoner 701 Scorpion from 1972. The first in the original series of four classic 70s Japanese grindhouse films following the vengeful exploits of Matsu the Scorpion, iconically played by the mesmerising Mako Kaji. Matsushima, Nami's beautiful innocence, is stripped from her by the corrupt and deceitful police detective Sugimi, and when Matsushima tries to kill him for the terrible injustices, she is committed to hard time in a grim female prison run by a sadistic male guards. Matsu is an immediate target for both fellow inmates and despicable prison guards. She refused to clear her own name or testify against Sugimi, the crooked and cruel detective, or his fellow senior officers in collaboration with the mob of the Japanese Mafia. Keeping her secrets make her a liability and one that Sugimi must quash and so orchestrates plans to have Matsu meet with a fatal accident within the confines of the hellish female prison. Sugimi enlists the help of Kata Girl, a particularly nasty fellow inmate, to do his bidding. Matsu is strong, defiant and has a burning will for retribution to keep her company as all manner of torture and cruelty befall her within the confines of the prison walls. Hell hath no fury like a woman wrong though and as Matsu the Scorpion, Mako Kaji, owns the role her ability to stand firm, keep quiet, endure and definitely overcome is mesmerising to watch, none more so than her striking prowess to convey detached emotional intent to those who mean her harm with her eyes alone is memorable. This is pure 70s exploitation, women in prison, grindhouse brilliance that has stood the test of time and it's just as rewarding a payback movie you will ever get to see. Director Shunya Ito helmed this as his first full feature film and followed it up effortlessly back to back with the next two sequels in the original four movie franchise series here. With the equally iconic female prisoner scorpion Jailhouse 41 that same year and female prisoner scorpion Be Stable in 1973 as the third picture in the franchise. All to star the magnificent Mako Kaji in the lead role. The series was taken from the popular manga comic at the time but director Shunya Ito along with assistant director Yutaka Kahira and a trio of talented writers dared to bring their own vision of the female prisoner scorpion to the big screen. Shunya Ito actually went on to direct himself a new female prisoner scorpion in 1977 and it was the second feature in a new series of the female prisoner scorpion movies. The look of this film is stunning with a almost cobalt steel brushed texture to it bringing out the cold stark world of the prison scenes and vivid brush strokes of red to highlight moments of violence and not just in the smattering of the globule thick blood letting that takes place. The film at moments outlandishly borders on a horror film premise as the eclectic killer characters within the prison almost morph into insane representations of their true inner evil selves. The film is never boring as it reverberates its visual violence with a crescendo of graphic style yet never overstepping its manga roots into believable gut punches to repel. As reviewers you are behind the protagonists all the way 
in her quest to overcome the brutality of the odds against her as she strives to pull through and take her just vengeance. This is of course a series of hard-hitting, satisfyingly salacious films though, and the tale of the Scorpion has more than just this one wholly satisfying strike to garner retribution. There is always adversity and threat awaiting along the way before Matsu can ever think of letting her guard down ever again. Pure cleanse the cinematic clogged pause, cult classic goodness here that easily warrants an unreserved 7.5 out of 10 and this will definitely hold up to repeated viewings. Good, solid, hardcore, grindhouse goodness crying out to be seen. Arrow Video, once again, congratulations, great release here, and a great appreciation for another cult classic series. Collecting all four original movies out for purchase on the 8th of August 2016. This disc film collection has nice extras as well, an appreciation of the series from Raid director Gareth Evans, along with interviews with director Shania Ito, and a separate video as well with assistant director Yutaka Kahira, giving his memories of the production of the film, making of the film, and uh, his later new interpretation of uh, the Scorpion movies as well in 1977. We also get the four original trailers along with the original widescreen prints and nice clear audio and picture here with beautifully rendered English friendly subtitles as well. As far as the picture grain is concerned it is there as well which is fantastic. It uh, doesn't take away from the original making of the film and that grain is is definitely much a part of the film and takes you back to the original showings I'm sure when the films were at the cinema so this hasn't been over polished over cleaned and giving a, a waxy feel none of that at all Arrow have done a grand job really really very well done indeed and fans of Female Prisoner Scorpion will be delighted. Fans of Asian cinema, Japanese cinema will be thrilled. And newcomers will be blown away. Really very cool indeed. Have you seen this one? Uh, have you seen any of the films at all? Do leave us your thoughts in the comment section below. We very much look forward to hearing from you and uh, what your thoughts are about Female Prisoner Scorpion. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.